Here you go. Hi, I'm Sean Mahaffey. I'm the owner of Accurate Roofing and Masonry, and today we're going to install some bricks that we've removed. I've had people ask, well, how do you put a brick back in the wall after you've taken it out? So here's, here's what we do. Now, the first thing is when you take these bricks out, um, the cavity needs to be clean so that the bricks aren't bumping into the existing bed you know, head joint here and here. And a lot of times these are double brick. These are old houses, so there's brick behind this and the mortar behind each brick wall that you're laying goes down behind the brick and can jam up back here. So once you clear out your spot, you just need to make sure that your, that your brick can go in and fit in behind so you're gonna build it out a little bit when you lay it in. So we've got mud. I don't know if you can tell, it's, it's not totally wet. It's probably a little, a little uh, drier than maybe we would lay production brick with, but we're just laying a brick at a time. We don't really want them to fall down. So we'll take our mud, throw it in the cavity. These are pretty big joints, so you gotta put in a fair amount. And let me do that. I like to butter at least one side. and then butter each end of your brick. So you can see that, All right? And then you just wanna set this in, uh, like so. And you can pretty much eyeball these, if you're good with your eyeballs, and get it about even with the other brick. Don't want it tipping, but do that. Use your trowel, cut your mud. You can use your hand to feel things. And then this is a slicker, but I use them as a tuck pointer. I like these, I prefer these to what they sell as tuck pointers because these are pretty rigid and I get two sizes per tuck point or per slicker. So it fits different size joints. And on any given house, the joint sizes change on you, so it's nice to have a, a tuck pointer that'll do that. Now you're gonna tuck point in, make sure you've got your mud packed in, right? So you still gotta tuck point across the top. So get some mud on the backside, underside of your trowel. You can use this like a hawk. And you're gonna put that in. You kinda have to push it and then kinda turn your your tuck pointer or your tool a little bit to get in between the brick. You want to make sure you're packing. I usually pack them at an angle until they pack out and I can feel them packing out and then move down a little bit. All right. All right. Now, these are a wire cut brick. So you wanna make sure these are pretty clean. Now when you do more, when you do masonry work, you're gonna have a mess like this. You gotta let stuff set before you come back to finish it, brush it, um, or anything like that. Also, these are a raked joint. Raked means that they raked the, the mortar back after they laid the brick. So we'll let this set till this starts to harden. Probably today it's about 70, sunny, pretty dry here. We're in Colorado. Um, we'll come back with a raking tool and we'll rake that back. And then we'll brush it after it really dries. And then all you'll have to do is come back and wash it. We usually wash with a muriatic of water mixture. So that's how you put a brick back in the wall. Thanks for watching.